screen right now. Right there. Uh, time for some food now. Putting the mmm in summer. Mmm. Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> Phil's in the kitchen. <laughs> Firstly, Phil's in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, that's all you, that's all the excitement you need. That's all you need. Secondly, you know it's going to be good. Two hits Two today. Here it is. Here's the first one. So they are, uh, it's a twist on a steak sandwich. It's like a chili Philly steak sandwich, like an American style. But the sauce is really important and the relish as well. A little, couple of little twists there. Really simple, straight to the point. Using sirloin. We'll come on to that in a minute. Let's start with the cheese sauce. Let's do it. This is the queso sauce. So here I have, which I've overcooked on purpose here. These are chorizo and onions. Mm -hmm. So they've gone really toasty. See that there? Great sauce. To that, I'm adding 200... Well, we, we just tried some of the sauce right in the break. That sauce right. is unbelievable. Right, it's very simple. So good. 200 mils of single cream yeah. into there, and you'll get a lovely colour. Done using um, a smoked cheese, processed cheese, yeah. and also a red Leicester to get that colour. Right. And all you do is pop that in, like that, and, you, and we're going to warm that through. Is that oh, that lovely Bavarian processed cheese you get? In, I love yes. that stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So dirty, but so good. Some people call it plastic cheese. Okay. Um, dirty cheese. But I, I quite like it. But the whole point is... Give me a dirty cheese. In, in real time, this should cook down from the end of, to the end where we're cooking it. So all we're doing is so warming, warming that through. Dirty. All right? We're not, we're not cooking it, we're warming it like so. Right. Minute steak sandwich. I'm using sirloin steak here. You can use fillet. You can also use... A ribeye, slightly chewier, oh, um, but I quite, like, I quite like a little bit of fat on that of the sirloin, which is just Do we top. leave the fat on? Yes. It's tastier, isn't just it? Just a little bit. No, yeah. I, I left it on yours. You can just about see it just there. So I'm going to cut it off. Yeah. And... So, so this is basically minute steak. Minute steak. And the whole idea was, clues in the title, it should cook 30 minutes. seconds each yeah. side. It's a little but you don't bit want to necessarily be using like the most expensive cut for that, do you? Well, cause... no, you've got to be slightly careful because, generally speaking, the cheaper cuts... A slightly chewier. So you, but the other the argument is if you have a sirloin, which is rather expensive, but you're only using a centimetre. So in actual fact, pro rata, you're getting it. It's pretty. Right. It's so good. I notice you haven't said anything for 30 seconds. Yeah. Because I can't believe how <laughs> tasty it is. good, right? Oh my goodness. Right, just come back to the cheese sauce for a second. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I see about that. Excuse me. Mm. You'll see it's all starting to come together. So what you get is a lovely homogenised cheese sauce as a dip that you've got there, but you can also put it into the chilli steak as we're going to do in a minute. Yeah. The, the, the Philly steak, I should say. But you can also set that, I set it into um, uh, uh, Chinese takeaway containers. That's a good and idea. And then you can slice it and put it on steaks and stuff like that. It you works freeze really it well. Now. You can probably freeze that. No, no need to freeze it because it's processed cheese. No. No Phil, I'm having a moment so because are. I genuinely think this is the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Ah, <laughs> you top I'm not joking. Aww. You top man. So that's been the 30 seconds. You'll see, in that goes like that. You need to cook it a little bit because you want to, if I can just show you, you need to cook that fat. So the fat, you're not listening, are you? So the fat starts to melt. I'm oh, sorry, I nicked her that. That's fine. <laughs> so at that stage, I'm going to turn the oven, the pan off. So how do you do that? Because I, I struggle frying meat sometimes, but I don't cook the fat, I don't cook the fat enough to, for the fat to be fun. Because, cool. I mean, when it's under the grill, it kind of goes nice and crispy. Yeah. Well, on a barbecue, or you can always stand it on its edge to crisp the fat up. What do that you want is... a frying pan? Well, you know, I cut it so thin, it's like, that's a centimetre maximum. Right. So that will cook pretty much, as you'll see there, partially steaming in the fat as well. So there we are. That, that'll cook in that time. Will it go brown? Uh, it won't go brown, but it will on the edges, but it will what they call render slightly. Mm -hmm. So that means it's just starting to melt. That looks amazing. Look at that. Now, that cooked in that, in that real time. So Would that be a medium rare? That's medium rare. However, the residual heat in that now will carry mm. on cooking that while we, while we come to the end. Of... So, so you've got your cheese sauce. Now, back to this. That's what we're after. So that cooked in real time, that lovely queso cheese sauce. But you have to keep that quite on a low heat so it doesn't curdle or anything. You just keep it warm. Right. If it gets too hot, it will curdle. But you've got that beautiful modernite. And, and honestly, with chorizo in there as well. Yeah. And your onions. It just gives a, a, as a dip there, as you can see. Yeah, I'm dipping it with my chips. Right. So, now, you've got your steak, which is resting. You've got a sauce, which is there. I'm using chia batter, which I've toasted. And to that, I'm going to add, rather than using a little uh, butter, I'm going to use mayonnaise just to go nice. onto the chia batter. This one's especially for you, this one, Al. Thank you, OK, because so I know you might be a bit peckish. I am. Uh, and then, so, on that goes. You don't need to do this. I just do it because I think it adds an extra flavour yeah, and, and an extra texture. There's, there's oil in it, so it's, it's fine. Right, here's, here's the kicker. So, in this pan here, I have, um, uh, as you'll hear, a mixture of green pepper, yeah. onion and jalapeno peppers, which is I've just softened. Yes. So, I've put onion... Uh, sorry, olive oil, parsley, 
um, jalapenos into there. I'm going to finish that with lime juice. And that yeah. goes. Lovely. A few extra jalapenos to give a bit more kick. Bear in mind, on the flavour and the heat, they're not that hot. It's nice, though. This isn't too spicy at all. It's got a little no. residual warmth to it, but that's Yeah, it. but it's not yeah. like, a, like a, a blatantly hot yeah. chilli. It, it just has a sort of background. Then I'm, here's another little thing I'm going to add. Here I've got tortilla chips. Oh, which that's you've a got good here. idea, to add a bit of crunch. Mush it up. Just much, but they have to go in at the last second to give a bit of texture. Because bear in mind, you've got quite idea. a soft texture here. Yeah. You've got quite a soft texture there. But if you add those at the last second, it just adds a, a little bit of dimension to it as well. Onto there, it goes like that. Now, going back I to the can't states, tell you how good you this see. Thank you so much for coming in today. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. This is the best day ever, honestly. Brilliant. Well, we, we, we tried, don't we? And you're coming back later as well. Yeah, this is the best we, day ever. So later on, we're going to be doing a, a millionaire shortbread. Oh my goodness! Now, there's a little twi twist to that. You know, my, my cooking there's always a twist to that as well. There it is. Look at that. Oh, oh there it is. Look at it. On. There's a little twist on that, we need to talk about it a bit later on. So then I'm going to go back to the um, queso, which is this one here, mm -hmm. and you'll see... I'm just going to blob oh, it on so there. naughty. What do you call the sauce? Queso. It's a, it's a queso, but it's Spanish, uh, Mexican it's for... Um, cheese. Cheese, yeah. yeah. Ah, nice. So the whole point is, it's not a runny sauce, so it holds itself. That is so then good. A little bit of this on top. Uh, just on that, like Phil, so... I'm so glad you came back, because oh. honestly, I thought after Coronation Street we'd never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought, why would that man subject himself? Say... Like, you poor well, thing. There's you a did, point... It wasn't even an umbrella for you. No, but there's a point... Have a look? There's a point... Here it is. But there's a point when the viewers didn't really know... Poor Coronation. But I was, was going to carry on. Yeah. I was going to just carry on like normal. Like there, you wouldn't have known, and I think it cuts to us. There we go. My hair was getting so wet, man, I needed to come out of that. It was a lot. See, but the point was... They did. I said they, they don't know it's raining. Apart from a bit of me. Anyway. Look at my arm, soaking wet though. Look at my arm. <laughs> it's literally like I'm in the shower. Yeah, and the salmon was actually swimming. Just <laughs> <Very tough, laughs> at the start, I remember just thinking. I remember looking up at the sky that started yeah. out and going, "What a lovely day we're having today." <laughs> It was good Within fun. Within two minutes, so, it was good fun. So just come back to the, the sandwich for a second. We wind up. So we'll show this here. You'll just see. There it is. Oh, there. there's Look the money shot. Look so, at that. Cooked perfectly. The sauce is there. Oh, my word, Phil. It's not running out. But, but it's all about layering of textures and colours and flavours. And that's really important. So it's nothing... I think marries together. Yeah. That's the biggest thing about cooking. Everyone's going to be making that today. I think the crew are now happy they've come in for a bank holiday. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks, Phil. Pleasure. Thank See you later on. Absolute pleasure. All the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from this morning's Chef's Head to the Free This Morning app. It's delicious. It really is. Now, still...